I've done a lot of different things in my lifetime. I've had a lot of different, um, you know, a lot of different crazy experiences. Since I did Shahada, I haven't had, I haven't I quit drinking, I quit hanging out, partying. I've like even changed the music and the things that I watch on TV. Like everything has just come so very natural to me as well. Um, so it hasn't been difficult at all. Like, like God just took it all away from me. Like, so, you know, certain things. And now my life is like in a much, I'm going in a much better direction. You know, I've been able to just make so many changes that, you know, I thought would I would never even want to do before. Um, and now I'm just very happy that I did that I did so. Assalamualaikum, everybody. Today I'm in the mosque with the special guest for my channel is Sister Angela. I just call her Sister Angela, but the real name is V Angela. Okay, okay. Now I want to introduce you because she has a good story. She's convert to Islam for a few months ago. So now. You want to listen and watch her, what the story from her comfort to Islam. Okay, now we start it with Sister Angela. Assalamualaikum, Sister Angela. It's very happy today. I'm, I meet you in the mosque because we have a sisterhood today. And Sister Ziba told me for a few weeks ago about your comfort to Islam. Mm -hmm. And today, I think I have a time to talk to you and you can share story about the comfort to Islam. Can you tell me why you comfort to Islam? Um, well, I feel like it was always kind of within me. I feel like it, I just kind of brought myself right back to where God originally had me placed. Um, Something inside of me feels like I've just always naturally been, you know, I, I, this has always just been natural to me. But uh, what really brought me to convert and move forward and be all in with everything is um, I recently, my man passed away. And he was, he was Muslim. And he, um, I wanted to try to find a way to bury him properly, do a, a service for him correctly. So I came to the Islamic Center of South Florida and they helped me and they you know, kind of guided me in what to do for his services. And um, since then, you know, I was welcomed in and, and I've had the sisters teach me, you know, what I need to do and um, I did Shahada and, I'm very, very, very happy with my decision. I mean, I, it was like the best thing I could have done. And now I'm official. So. You're official <laughs> Islam. <laughs> yeah. So because um, you have something you're very sad in your life, you lost somebody you very love so much, mm -hmm. and finally you feel, uh, you're thinking about when you come to masjid, you feel like uh, comfortable or peace or what in here? Um, yes, I, I, I mean, I come is that, you know, I feel very welcome. Uh, everybody here is just very comforting to me. You know, it's it's nice to have, feel like I've got like a family support and with, in a, a spiritual guidance, you know. Um, having like the sisters here to help me get through this time and you know, it's just really mostly for learning. I really want to learn and grow as much as I possibly can in my, in, in my faith. So, what you feel after you convert to Islam? Are you feel peace or comfortable or you feel like your life feel better or what? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm American, all American woman, and I lived a very kind of full life. <laughs> I've done a lot of different things in my lifetime. I've had a lot of different, um, 
you know, a lot of different crazy experiences. Since I did Shahada, I haven't had, I haven't I quit drinking, I quit hanging out, partying. I've, like, even changed the music and the things that I watch on TV. Like, everything has just come so very natural to me as well. Um, it hasn't been difficult at all. Like, like, God just took it all away from me. Like, you know, certain things. And now my life is, like, in a much I'm going in a much better direction, you know. I've been able to just make so many changes that, you know, I thought would I would never even want to do before, um, and now I'm just very happy that I did that I did so. Are you very happy? Yeah. So yeah. about your pray or something, you know what? All Muslim, uh, not everybody can pray for five to five. Uh, five times uh, a day. So what you did? Um, when it comes to my the prayer, um, I always naturally am, and I've always been spiritual. So I've always naturally prayed. But when it comes to the the way that the prayers are performed, it brings you. I feel like it brings me closer to to Allah. I get um, when the, just the way like the the prostrate position just makes me feel like I'm just as close to Allah as I possibly can, as I can be. And that's all I want in my life right now. Yeah. That's like, that's all I want, is to be as close to God as I possibly can. So what about the Ramadan? Is it hard for you? Uh, Ramadan, Ramadan, the first day was kind of difficult that I fasted. I didn't really know um, I wasn't supposed to have water. <laughs> So drinking water made it tough. Um, drinking water without the food was kind of made it difficult. But after having um, doing it without the water, and then you know with prayer, it was fine. Everything just came natural. <laughs> Everything has just been completely like I've had uh, peace. I've had like a spiritual guidance. I've just I haven't struggled with anything. I take cutting certain things out of my life. With the prayer, with the fasting, everything has just been smooth. <laughs> it's been easy. Like even adjusting to to the hijab, covering myself, you know, walking out of the house, going from wearing my high heels and my short shorts to completely covering up and having a purpose behind it and doing it for the right reasons. Like everything has just been completely natural for me. Oh, it's yeah. very nice. Yeah. So the meaning Islam has changed your life for peace for you and to feel better. Mm -hmm. And you don't miss much about whatever mm -hmm. you did in your past? Mm -mm. I don't, no, no. I, I feel like I've already done, I feel like this is, this was Allah's timing for me. Um, you know, like my whole life, I've, I've had lots of experiences, like I've said, like I've, done a lot of things, I've made a lot of money, I've got my kids, I now have grandkids, you know, I've done my, my fair share of wiling out, you know, and now is the time that I'm on a different path, and I'm very happy with the path that I'm on, and I wouldn't change it, I don't plan to change it, and I don't miss anything from my past, I, I, I fulfilled that time, and now I'm on to something bigger and better, and and I'm very, 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 very happy and grateful for the position that I am in my life right now. Okay. Yeah. So what about in your family? Only you come for to Islam? So what about your children? How many children you have? Um, I got lots of kids. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to teach them. I'm trying to encourage my friends, my family, my children. Um, I don't have anybody that that is immediate to me, uh, that is, you know, that... But it's hard to change people's belief, you know what? Um, I'm not trying to change anybody's belief. I'm trying to influence and encourage them to the truth. So it's like, you know, if, if they could see the change in me, then, you know, maybe... And, and it already has. <laughs> it already has. Some of my absolutely obnoxiously crazy friends are calling me, telling me the experiences they experienced after they prayed, you know, and it's like, so they're like, I prayed today, and guess what happened? I'm like, really? 
So that that's that that makes me happy. Just little, little one day at a time, little bits at a time. Um, I feel like I'm I'm doing what Allah wants me to do, and as long as He He's got me in a good position, then I can influence and encourage other people to possibly just look into it, research and and learn for themselves. And in God's time, they will be there too. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Sister uh, Angela, for your sharing today to us uh, about your story, Comfort to Islam. I hope for, for the future you can find another man in your life and make you feel better and make you happy again. What do you think? I'm happy with Allah. Oh, really? Alhamdulillah. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. So finally, you find it the right path in your life. Yes. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum. I've been waiting. I've been hurting. Cause I've been falling. I need your help. My heart is breaking, so tired of crying Lord, I'm calling, I need your help